What's up guys in this video, I am going to show you how we will integrate GraphQL with Spring Boot application plus our MySQL database. So let's get started. Now the prerequisite of this is like we have installed our Eclipse. So to install the Eclipse, go to eclipse.org slash downloads and get to the latest Eclipse ID. I am using 2021.03. You can use as preferred one. Now next thing you have want is the MySQL community downloads. So my, as per the MySQL community download, go to this website dev.mysql.com slash downloads slash MySQL. Here there is my MySQL server which you have to configure and uh, make sure to take a note of your username and password for the configuration with our spring boot config uh, application now with this done let's get to what we are going to see so the whole tutorial is defined uh, divided into three parts first is the database configuration that is the backend another middle one is the configuration of graphql that is in our spring boot application so that it's very important so this part this whole thing two parts combined with this comes under our spring boot and the third is accessing it so to access it i will use instead of using these clients i will use postman because front end is not available we can only post our application and see our changes using postman so as per this tutorial is concerned, it is divide, divided into three parts, database configuration, Spring Boot configuration that comes under REST API and GraphQL. And the third is testing it using the clients that is Postman. So let's get started. So to get started for you, I have uh, given this Spring Boot application and all the things which are I am using in this tutorial in this link architect.in slash graphql spring boot mysql so do check it out the link to this repository is in the description section of this video further the link to the prerequisites were also mentioned in the pre uh, description section of this video do check it out so now what we have to do is just clone it so to clone it I will hit this one and this is this ssh one and i will copy it right here and get to my workspace eclipse workspace this and then right click open git bash and then git clone this one and i have cloned it it's cloning Okay. so let's get into it and now import this application to import it i will get into this folder graphql mysql demo and then copy this one because form is here so this is a maven application so i will get into my eclipse right click in the file left click and then import select import then maven maven check out existing project existing maven project then next then paste it and browse okay so form is picked up now finish so it is importing our project but now project is getting imported wait for the project to get import so after all so this is my project now this, what we have to do is get into our sql so type mysql so this command line will appear right here enter your password mine is test one two three four so this is let's see show database this is okay 
so i will drop this database graphql and graphql you don't have to do it because you have already dropped database you don't have this one so i have already dropped it now the first step to this is the configuration of our database so to configure our database what we have to do is get into our this one repository and inside this repository in this mysql commands get into this file and hit raw so all these commands so to create the database use this one graphql fine get back and then paste it right there now show databases command so this query is hit and it's saying okay so let's see this is created or not so show databases and now this graphql is appearing right here so it is empty right now so let's use this one and paste it here so use graphql now let's create one table so copy this command also so what it will do is create one table with the name property so this will create one property a table so let's see and the next thing which we have to do is insert the data into it right so i will show you the data and how the queries are getting now let's see the table so show tables is the command and now hit it so this is the table property table is available right here inside graphql database let's select it to see all the data which we have inserted right now so now let's copy it from here and get back and then okay so this is our database configured correctly so this is the id one two three and address event and name so these are the four parameters which are here and all those parameters i have to configure in my spring boot application with the graphql so this is the backend database which i have configured right now so this part of the database is configured correctly now now next thing we have to deal with is our spring boot application configuration so let's hop to our imported application so i have imported my application previously in this one now let's in the build section the build path okay so it is one pointed as a as he java version now let's open this application so before this what i will show you is this one these two files okay so to give the overview of application what i have to do is i am configuring one application spring boot application and i have one rest endpoint in graphql so this point is concerned so in my endpoint there is slash graphql and uh, i am hitting this endpoint this controller i have created right here okay so this is the endpoint of for property property so in this endpoint what is there is this endpoint is hitting this backend database in this graphql database fine and i have configured the username password of my database that is my mysql server did. so if you are using any other details or credentials for the database do replace it with your credential on this username and password and also the port if you are using another one next thing the overview of this application so this application is consists of four things 
one is id name address and event as we have seen in our table fine so these are the four parameters which we are going so this is my schema which i have defined for my graph well so as per the graph the schema these are the four parameters which i have defined as a query fine in my property so all pro and i what i am doing is i am giving this all property parameter to be returned as a list of property that's that is the list of all the these parameters fine so and this is defined as in the schema with the query fine so this is the whole schema it is quite fair if you are not familiar with graphql schemas and all stuff do check out the documentation of available in the link of graphql so it, the documentation is also available in the description section of this video so do check it out now the first now let's get to the configuration so in the configuration section this is the main class which is responsible for starting this game spring boot application and updated with spring boot application next thing is the controller class where we have defined this thing this property that is our endpoint and now this is the function which is responsible for executing the query fine and this query is also available in this is my jpa repository which is communicating with the uh, this jpa configuration and this it's and uh, this is is the iq service which is quite here and what this is doing is it is calling this data fetcher so what what is happening right here is uh, we are going and wiring this query that we have seen seen in the previous one to this data fetcher that is all properties and fetching the data from the packet another thing right here is in the data fetcher which is most important that is find all function is implemented from so what it is doing we have prepared one endpoint and this graph quill it is fetching with the name this all property so let me show you this this uh this postman get into it so this is how this all property and what the parameter we have to fetch we have to define it right here now all the properties which are here we have configured this backend successfully and this is my database i have given the whole overview of the java code which i have written for my application this one now what we have to do is just run this application so my application is running right now okay so i have to get into the postman also so i will here i will use post now it is now my postman would appear right here so my spring boot application has been started right now and uh, let the postman get started let me close my docker which is running right now good docker so this is my postman let me open this postman ui so to open it right click here here and then open postman so postman is getting open from here and now in this get to the my repository and here in this postman one you have to copy the url endpoint this one uri and 
then oh this postman is right here map console now in this postman what we have to do is create new thing and then in this one i have to hit plus and paste it here and then body in this raw text there is no problem but we can use graphql also so this one i will define those parameter right here and feed this one so okay so property method let's use this one let's send the data so there is not available mention not allowed so let's see what is the problem this is all the completed get method oh, okay so get method is not supported right now so we have to put post and then post method select all the things which we are going to do is using post only you have to work with post only and uh, the get is also with yeah we will get data using post only so this is the name and their address so if we want to two parameters only we will specify name and event only and then send so we are will only get the name and event this is the beauty of this graphql for the more information of on graphql visit our website rdtech.in and our blog mentioned in the description section of this video thanks for watching do subscribe and like to this video moreover comment and for more support visit our website rdtech.in